og en snor. Lange strender og en rekke underholdningstilbud. Det er som om vi har vært med på sånn der Armageddon, altså den... Vi er bare oss to igjen på jorda. Ja, ja, det er det. Og så fant vi et sånt sted. Perfekt for to livsglade kvinner i en Mini Cooper Cabriolet. Da har vi kommet oss til Jaywick, en liten forstad for klakten. Og denne byen er, de har kåret den til en av de mest nedslitte stedene i England, faktisk. Det ble så pass ille en periode at til og med Donald Trump brukte dette som eksempel i valgkampen sin, på hvordan han ville gå hvis ikke man stemte på ham. Som et skrekkeksempel. Men her skal vi, og her er beachbarn til han vi skal møte. Han heter Danny. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am here in the beautiful Costa del Jaywick, and I've noticed some lovely ladies that have come to visit. So it is in my nature, it is in my interest to say, hello, how are you, and how... Maybe I should do it to them. This is Danny, who is a Jaywick enthusiast. He drives a YouTube channel where he has produced over 30 000 videos to create positive attention around his home station. To shine on. See, this is what I do, everybody. I just walk along the beach, say what a beautiful day it is today, show them the beautiful Jaywick, and then we come across these beautiful ladies. Hello! Hello! So this is what I do. I go, hello, my name is Danny. Lovely to meet you. What is your name? Oh, hey, um, um, my name is Lynn and I'm from Norway. Hello, Lynn. I love Lynn from Norway. Hello. hello, lovely to meet you. And what is your name, please? Hi, I'm Ina. I'm also from Norway. It's not every day you meet two beautiful ladies from Norway. <laughs> shine on for the Costa del Jaywick to wherever. <laughs> but tell me, how long have you been living here? I've been living here since 1986. Yeah. Yeah. And I moved here at age 11. Okay. I used to live in Clatsom before that. Yeah. Then I moved to the Costa del Jaywick and I've never looked back. No. I feel like I've been on holiday all my life. Yeah. And I think that reflects in my personality because I just yeah. so love life. Yeah. Jaywick makes me the, the person you're seeing. Uh. I mean, the story of Jaywick goes way back to World War II because a lot of people in London brought houses here as their second mm. home. Yeah. Yeah. But when their houses got bombed in London, yeah. they had to move to these houses. So that was the start of Jaywick becoming residential. Yeah. yeah. And it's kind of got a mixture of both. Yeah. But Jaywick is in its, at its very best as a holiday resort. You get this in the centre like that. You pour a bit in like that, see? Oh, yeah. And that yeah. is a Jaywick oh. ice cream. Oh. And if you could do that for these people, yeah. that would be so lovely. Do you like ice cream? <laughs> I'll get the ladies to do it for you. No, but see on this one. No, but up, up now, hold it. Wow! You have got a job. Here you go, young guys. Your first lovely ice cream from Norway. Wow! Look how good you are. It's great, Elin. Oh, stop! Oh, you got it. You got the double. Oh, you got the double. Yeah, you did it. Elin, you did a little bit. Don't make any more ice cream. All for ice and all so much joy. We love them. Shine on. Now we're on YouTube again. We love Norway more. We love you. Forever. Jay Wick. Jay Wick. Jeg sa ju, for jeg husker selvfølgelig ikke hva det heter. Jay Wick. Så her vi er, the heart of Jay Wick. Wow. Har du sett? And this is my heart. I've been in this house for over 30 years. I first moved here in 19... No, maybe 27 years. I think I moved here in 1996. Yeah. I got a bit of trouble. I don't know if you want to hear about that, my story, but basically, my mum died when I was 14. Uh. I moved to Joe when I was 11. When I lived here in 1986, Joe was quite deprived then, because buttoning shut. Not many jobs, not many opportunities. And because I was young and my mum died, I felt the world had done me wrong. So I, I, I had a problem, I had attitude. And up to 21, I kept going to prison because I had nothing to live for. I felt I had nothing. My dad came to visit me at 21. He said, Danny, you're better than this. Come and work for me, because my dad's a bricklayer. I went and worked for my dad, and I brought my house for £7,000, and I've never been in trouble with the police now. When I got older and I built my own house and I own it, I thought, right, I want to help people that were like me. Because people give up on them. People yeah. gave up on me. The one person that never gave up on me was my dad. And if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here today. People think when they're going through pain and tragedy, that's all their life will ever be. But let me say to you, your life can be anything you want. Don't ever give up on yourself or anyone. And don't ever look down on someone unless you're helping them up. And that is Jaywick advice to everybody. Yeah. Shine on, I love you. Yeah. Because, you know, you, you, I feel like you are forever. Yeah. You're so nice to meet you. You're no, you've really very... made me feel like you're an I'm adventure. someone. Yeah. And uh, you've brought me out. Yeah. When I met you, I was like, now I'm like this. <laughs> love you, Ina. Mwah.
You are forever oh. welcome in Jamie. <laughs> Thank you. Shine on. Vi trenger et sted å overnatte. Og Danny har anbefalt oss å leie en vogn i byens trailerpark. Ja. Trailerpark, første gang i livet. Ja. Det er jo det. Det er her vi skal sove i natt. Her er det, det var det masse ting.